Good morning friends, I mean, it's Bailey, I'm a third year, third grade teacher in Florida, and this is a day in my life. Alright you guys, this is Future Bailey popping in to share about the sponsor of today's video, which is Geology. If you've never heard of Geology before, they're an online skincare, now hair care as well company, and they are providing personalized skincare and hair care products. When you go to their website, all you have to do is take a 30 second quiz and you will get personalized results on the kind of skincare and hair care your body needs or for whatever kind of results you're looking for. So first off is the co-wash. This stuff is so cool. I used it this morning in my hair just so you guys could kind of see what it looks like. I feel like my hair is so soft. But their co-wash is basically like an anti-shampoo. Typical shampoos have tons of chemicals and harsh ingredients in them that can really strip your hair of its natural oils. Co-wash does the exact opposite of that. It nourishes your hair and your scalp and they have super simple ingredients. So their co-wash, this one has coconut oil, avocado oil, squalane, and vitamin B5. And I also love the packaging of these. They have 84% less plastic than traditional shampoo or hair care bottles would. And I love that they're like this because I feel like you're able to get like every little last bit out of it. They have the co-wash, but they also are known for their skincare items. So I wanted to show you a few of the ones that I have. So first off is their everyday face wash. This one has bergamot and juniper in it. I've been using their products for a few weeks now, and this is what my skin is looking like. And you guys, I'm not kidding. When the last like month or so before I started using their products, my skin was just not in the best place. Like I was honestly really struggling with it. And I think a lot of it had to do with what I was putting in my body and stress and everything like that, which still hasn't gotten that much better. But the one thing that has changed is the products I'm using on my face. I started using this rather than my typical face wash and my face looks so clear. Like this is crazy. It has not looked this good in so long. And I love that they have on the back these little guidelines for how much product to use. So you're not overusing products or not using enough of it. They tell you exactly how much to use. After the face wash, if it's the morning time, I put on the moisturizing morning cream. This has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and argan oil. For the nighttime, after I wash my face, I use the night cream, which has retinol, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. Acid. Again, products that I was already using, but in this, with this, it's all already packed in here. I don't have to use a million different things. And then the only other thing I use is their eye cream dark circle formula. If you're a teacher, I'm going to tell you right now, you need to get your hands on this. It has kojic acid, caffeine, and niacinamide, and I will just dab a little bit on my finger and then put it under my eyes after I have moisturized. So those are the products I've been using from them and I have zero bad things to say. I have loved using them. My skin seriously hasn't looked this good in months, you guys. So if you guys are interested in checking out Geology, you can click the link down below or go to geology.com and use code MissDokesClass70 for 70% off of their skincare trial and 30% off of the co-wash. Such a great deal, y'all, and my face is proof that it works. And thanks again to Geology for sponsoring today's video. So is growling live. I'm headed to Virginia because Max is there right now at a training, basically, for work. He's there for a month, and he was supposed to be out on his boat on a patrol. So since he's like in on land and like I'm able to visit him, I'm going to get visit him because I'm taking advantage of him not being on the boat. I chose this weekend because originally we were supposed to have a teacher work day on Monday. So my plan was to take off today, which is Friday, and then fly home Sunday night, like late Sunday night. And then Monday was just supposed to be a teacher work day. So like I didn't have to be like on, I could just like show up super tired and exhausted from traveling the night before and it's just teacher work day so i could just sit in my room and get work done well the hurricane came hurricane ian and just messed it all up <laughs> and now we have a regular school day on monday my flight gets in at midnight on sunday night and i picked the Orlando airport, which is the airport not close to me because flights are always cheaper out of Orlando. So I was like, I'll just make the drive because 
for me, it's worth it. Like I'll pay a little extra in gas to have a significantly cheaper flight. Like my flight from Orlando was $285. If I had flew out of like Tampa or Sarasota, it would have been at least $400. So I was like, okay, it's worth it to drive a little bit farther. Like, and it's really not that much farther for me. It's like maybe an extra 30, 45 minutes, depending on traffic. So basically I'm not gonna get home until like 2 a.m. on Sunday, technically Monday morning, and then have to be up at six to teach children. That's gonna be rough. I will not be vlogging that day. Also my, I don't wanna call her my student teacher because she's not like student teaching yet, but she's like observation student. I don't know. I had one last year, you guys remember if you watch. I have one starting on Monday and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be like dead. And she's like, what is wrong with this girl? I'm going Friday, Saturday, and then leaving Sunday night. I'm very excited. I've never really been to Virginia. I've definitely like driven through but as an adult, I have never been to Virginia. But yeah, I'm gonna finish doing my makeup. I wasn't gonna do makeup, but then I was like, well, I wanna vlog and I wanna feel like good. I really need to leave in like 15, 20 minutes. So it's gonna be speedy makeup. Also, I'm thinking of doing a morning routine and like showing you guys the products I use, but like y'all, I do not go to Sephora. I do not go to Ulta. I mean, I used to go to Ulta in Alabama because it was really close to our house, but I never bought like the expensive things there. And nothing fancy whatsoever. Honestly, these days, it's whatever I can get at Publix when I'm grocery shopping. All right, Kev is literally right here. Looking so cute. <gasps> All right, friends, we are ready to go. I'm very proud of myself for getting ready this fast. It's 5.49, got everything in my suitcase. Now I just need to close it. I'm dressed, I'm wearing, like I showed you guys, I think I already had this shirt on when I started this. I don't know. And then I'm gonna wear this big puffy jacket because we all know the airport is freezing. Let's close this suitcase. I'm going to cut off these old tags so my thing doesn't get lost and end up somewhere else. I don't think that can happen. I have a little thing that you like pull it, like hold up the suitcase and it will weigh it. But honestly, I'm just gonna go into this blindly and hope for the best because I really don't know if it's gonna be underweight. All right, I'm gonna cut these tags off, head in the car, say bye to my puppies. Look, they're sipping it. They know what's happening. Let's see if this works. I've been waiting for it to be right outside so I could talk to you guys. We have officially hit traffic. So I am totally a type of person to get to the airport like two hours early and just sit, like get to my gate and just like all the anxiety goes away. I'm like, yes, I'm here, I'm ready. Well, I'm trying to not be that person because that I'm sitting for two hours just waiting and it's like awful. And I'm like, why did I get here so early? Like, why did I do this to myself? Like I do this every time, just get to the airport later, Bailey. So that was the goal for today was to get to the airport later. Oh, so a big part of that is I have TSA pre-check now. So like, I don't have to get there early. So I told myself today, I'm not getting there super early. Well now, I have this long drive to convince myself I'm gonna miss my flight. And also don't worry about me driving right now because I am looking at the road as well. And also my car has this amazing feature where I have cruise control on. Oh, no, it's not gonna work. If I put it on cruise control, it will like obviously go that speed, but like if a car breaks in front of me, it slows down and then it will go back to the cruise control control speed whenever it can. And it will just like go as fast as it can, but like stay a safe distance. It's amazing, great feature. So that's what I'm using right now. And it literally like stops with the traffic and goes with the traffic. So it's not like I have to stop, go. We just love 2022, right? Now I'm stressed because it's 8.01. No, it's not 801. If it was 801, I'd be missing my flight. It is saying I'm gonna get there at 801. My flight leaves at nine. And if you've ever been to the Orlando airport before, you know that's not good. That, that's not good odds for me. But I am relying on TSA pre-check to save the day. I watched a TikTok of this guy 
he, I don't think he had pre-check. He just had regular TSA. If I had regular, this guy is staring at me in his truck. If I had regular P TSA, I would probably miss my flight today because the Orlando airport security is just, my only worry is I feel like they stop checking bags after a certain time. And I'm really, 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 really hoping that's not an hour because if it is an hour before takeoff, then we're gonna be getting it close. Oh my gosh, now it's saying I'm gonna get there at 7.49. Oh, well, if that's the case, I feel a lot better. I missed my flight. I was 10 minutes late to checking my bag and I'm gonna check it. She was like, I can put you on the next flight for $99. And I was like, oh, okay, that's totally fine. And then she's like, the next flight out is tomorrow. And I was like, um, tomorrow's not gonna work. I was like, okay, never mind. Thanks, bye. <laughs> and I walked away. I got my phone and was like, <gasps> I found one from Tampa that like in total with taxes, my checked bag, everything was $300. So I whipped out the credit card because that's what credit cards are for. It's times like this. I got a fly out of Tampa at 12.30. So it's 8.30 right now, 8.45 actually. And I'm waiting for the shuttle to take me back to the car and then we're gonna drive the exact way we just came and go to the Tampa airport. So I should get to the Tampa airport like no later than 11 and my flight's not to 12 30 so should have plenty of time i've never missed a flight or like not gotten on a flight before wow <laughs> i've gotten lost twice now and i just took the little tram to the gates and i didn't check my bag how did that happen i don't know <gasps> talk I feel like <sighs> wow am I just that oily oh my gosh okay excuse the shine happening it's the lighting too but whatever I've been traveling all day leave me alone but I made it to Richmond Virginia I've met amazing people since I've been here like not kidding you can tell it's the south like you can tell where I live is not the south. I don't live in the south anymore. I don't care if you think Florida is the south, it's not. North Florida is the south. But once you get into central Florida, you're not in the south anymore. And I can already tell because Virginia is the south. And I feel like I'm not making any sense right now. On my flight, I paid 10 extra dollars to have a window seat. And I thought I was gonna have the whole road to myself because when I purchased it, it was like 20 minutes before we boarded. Cause I was like, let me just look, let me just see how much it would be to get like a seat on my own, like my own row. It said no, like it offered my seat or this, the aisle seat next to me cause it was two on my side. So that told me, you know, in my head that both seats were available, right? Cause I could pick either. So I was like, I'm gonna pick the window seat and no one will be next to me because it's still saying it's available to purchase. And like, who else is gonna purchase a seat 20 minutes before the flight? Well, apparently a lot of people because I was next to a guy on my flight and I was like, oh, whatever. I didn't talk to him. And then at the end, when I like took my headphones out, we were about to land, he was like asking me why I was coming to Virginia. And I was like, just to visit my boyfriend and he was saying that he's from here but he works in tampa sometimes and he's telling about his wife and his kids he's total dad he was so nice giving me recs of like where to go so friendly so nice and then leave him and i'm like i asked him i was like do you think i should uber to my hotel i told him like the area i was staying in i was like should i uber there or do you think i should just wait it out for my boyfriend to get here i was like i think you should uber there's a lot of things over there you could do so i was like all right you've convinced me i'll uber i was hesitant because uber sketched me out i've had plenty of really whack uber drivers in my life and it just scares me honestly especially being a young woman my uber driver was the absolute best uber driver i have 
ever had in my entire life. She was so sweet, so nice and friendly. Like we literally didn't stop talking for the entire ride and it was like 30, 40 minutes. Um, which has never happened to me. I'm totally the person who will sit in silence for an entire Uber ride and like be fine. So sweet, so friendly, like just a sweet person and just like amazing. And I usually don't tip my Uber drivers. I don't know if that's like a red flag on my part, but like, hey, for the Uber, like I get going to a restaurant. They're literally serving you. But for me, Uber, it just doesn't seem like the kind of thing that I need to pay on top of the tip, I don't know. But I tipped her 25% because she was an angel, like amazing. So, so sweet. Then I get to the hotel, I walk in, I'm a little worried about checking into hotel by myself because once again, people are just sketchy. They, everything is sketchy in my eyes, honestly, especially when I'm alone. The girl at the front desk, oh my gosh, amazing. Compliment to my wallet, showing me her new purse she bought was like, yes, girl, when I told her I wanted to get two white claws from the little thing, like, <laughs> so nice. I'm loving Virginia so far. So if you live in Virginia, watch out, I might be moving here. I'm just kidding, I'm not moving here. I did nap on the plane for like, I think like 30 minutes. I don't know, I was asleep when we took off. Like, I do not remember takeoff at all, so I must have been asleep. I was asleep before we even took off, and then I woke up right before they did like the food and drink service, and then they did food and drink service, and within like 15 minutes, we were landing, and I was like, this is amazing. I think I'm gonna shower and then curl my hair and then do my makeup, probably like while he's here because then it'll be like fresh and it won't get oily like this. But yeah, also my kids are good today. I asked the teacher who like shares rooms with me because I told my kids yesterday because I got a Dunkin' gift card. I was like, so if y'all are good, because y'all know Miss Stokes like Starbucks coffee. I don't go to Dunkin' really. So I was like, if y'all are good, I will use this gift card to buy you guys donuts on Monday when I'm back. So I told him that yesterday. And so I texted my coworker and I was like, did they earn the donuts? And she was like, I think so. They were good. And I was like, yeah. yay for them. Yay for the sub. Yay for everyone involved. Overall, I'm so glad I'm here. I also figured out my returning flight. So I always book my flights through Hopper. Hopper, if you want to sponsor me, hit me up. But I always book my flights through them. I don't know, which one day I started booking through them and then you get like little points and stuff for booking through them again. So I just keep booking through them and I get some discounts and things. So that's who I booked my original flights through. And um, I did not pay for a refund or whatever. So I reached out to them whenever I missed my flight, not to get a refund on that flight because I, I accepted I accepted the L on my flight here, um, my original flight. But I was canceling my flight for Sunday that's going to Orlando because I was like, I parked in Tampa, I need to fly into Tampa. And so I was reaching out to them to cancel that flight to Orlando and book a new flight to Tampa from here. And I was, they were able to get me, cause like they basically are like the middleman between you and the airline. They were able to get me a $200 uh, credit through American Airlines. So I was able to book a new flight, only had to pay $100 for my new flight, which still sucks that I have to pay, but so much better than paying $300. They were able to book me a new flight. I am leaving earlier than I wanted. My flight leaves at like 11 on Sunday, but I was like, you know what? It's fine. Like at least I'm getting home. I'll have some extra time to get ready for the week. Overall, it's been a great day after missing my flight this morning. I am gonna tell you right now, I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog once Max is here because one, I wanna spend time with him. Two, I hate vlogging part of the people. <laughs> Absolutely hate it. All right, I'm gonna go shower. I'm just happy. I'm happy that I'm here, honestly. I'm very thankful that I got here, and so far, it's been an amazing time. <laughs> Hello, friend. Long time. No see, well for you it's only been a couple seconds for me. It's been a week. I did not end the vlog like I kind of predicted. 
I just was enjoying my weekend and then I got home and had to get ready for the school week. So I just honestly did not have the time to get on here. So I'm here now to wrap up the vlog, to say thank you for watching. It was such a fun weekend. I got on my flight home on time, checked my bag, everything was good. I did have like a super short layover in Charlotte. Um, I flew from Richmond to Charlotte and then was literally like got off of my plane, walked straight to my other gate and was like in line and got on that plane. Like there was no like, break at all just went from one to the next and then flew back into tampa and drove home and it was great it was a great weekend it ended up being a very expensive weekend but it was a good weekend i'm really glad that i got to go and i'm glad that i was able to go you are ridiculous he's literally just begging but yeah, overall it was a really good weekend and I'm really glad I got to go. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of following me along on some parts of the weekend. It was kind of chaotic. But yeah, so that is it for today's vlog. Don't forget to check out Geology. You can use code Miss Stokes Class 70 to get 70% off of their skincare trial and 30% off of the co-wash. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.